meet, maybe as part of a home learning activity. This is going to be all about castles. Uh, I live in a place where we have a very historic castle. It tends to be something that we get set a lot as students to do. So I thought I'd use that as my stimulus for today. But obviously you could do this about absolutely anything that you might be studying um, or teaching as part of your curriculum. Okay, so this is what Clips looks like. Um, let's just go through some of the different tabs that we can see. In the top left corner, you'll notice that we have uh, some squares and that is to go back to our library. So if I tap on that, it'll take us back to my projects. Then I have my reverse camera, where you get to see me as I am recording this. So I'll quickly turn that back off. And then next to that, you get the music note. We'll look at that a little bit later. That's where we can add soundtracks and, and music to our projects to really make them pop. Then we have the main panel. If I go back to, to my camera of me, you'll see what I mean. That's the main kind of screen. And this button here is where we can take a photo. Now, the one thing to bear in mind when it comes to taking photos in Clips is that Clips is a movie making app. So if you're gonna add a photo, you need to give it a length of time. And that's where the big red bar comes in handy. This one just by here. That's how we add stuff to our Clips movies that we're going to make. And we'll have a look at that again as we start to put our projects together. So we're currently exploring the camera. Let's take a look at library. If I go ahead and tap in here, this is my libraries, all of the pictures that I've got on my device. We can also go to albums where we can sort of fine tune things and we'll see that I've already got some castles in here for my project that I'm going to use a little bit later. And then the final one we're going to look at is posters. Posters is way to give a bit of an overview of the project that you're doing. Great as an introduction, great as an ending, but also great as segues between different sections. And again, we'll have a look at how we would use those, but there is a whole range of different clips, posters that you can use. We're going to look at the other two options, the live titles and the effects, as we start to build now. So we'll come back to those as we put together our project. So let's get started. The first thing I want to add in is a little selfie, something which kind of gives a personal touch to my work. But let's face it, not everybody wants to be in their videos. So we're going to look at a little feature that you can do, which really helps to hide the identity of the individuals. Um, and that is to tap here on the effects. And I'm going to choose an emoji, lots of emojis you can choose from. And I'm actually going to make this the full size of my face. Now, if you also notice the yellow bars that are going around my face at that time, what this is doing is it's actually mapping that emoji to my face. So now as I move my face, the emoji moves with it. This is such a really cool tool because it just means that those students can stay in their videos but not be seen at any point. And obviously you can do a range of different things. Let's say I'm a really in love person at the moment. And I am, I'm in love with clips, it's fantastic. So there we go, we can kind of have these and they'll track to my face. Now to add that clip in, all I simply need to do is tap and hold on the record button and then maybe give a big thumbs up to say, that's the end of my video. So there we go, so there's clip number one. And you'll see that that clip is now along the bottom of my timeline bar with the little square. And this is how clips works, it just creates a clip after clip after clip which is really, really handy. Okay, so let's move on and go to our library and let's choose our first picture, the best castle in the whole of the world. This is Chepstow Castle, this is where I live. Um, it's one of those things you take for granted having a castle this old on your doorstep, but we do. So let's start our project with this. There's a couple of things I can do to add a little bit of detail. Obviously, if I showed this picture to most people, they wouldn't have a clue what it's about. So what I'm actually gonna do is position my picture tap on effects and tap on text. And I can choose any of these text buttons down the bottom here just to add a little bit of context to my picture. I'm just gonna go ahead and choose this one here and just type in that this is Chepstow Castle. And then I can move this text, I can pinch to zoom, move it around my screen. In fact, I'm just going to place it just by here. And then another quick tip, if you're adding in a picture in this way, like we said, you have to add pictures to turn them into a movie clip. 
When you tap and hold on record, you can actually pan and pinch to zoom the picture at the same time. It just adds a little extra effect to your clips. So there we go. And the text moves along with it. So if I go back and play that, there we go. Kind of just adds a nice little touch to what you're creating. So I'm going to add another clip in now. Um, and I'm going to choose uh, this picture here. This one is of Caldicott Castle, another castle local to, to where I live. Um, but this time I want to add something else, a bit of extra touch to this. So I'm going to add those effects again. This time I'm going to go to stickers though. And you'll see here's a range of stickers that you can use. Uh, loads and loads of different things that you can choose from. Um, I'm just going to choose uh, the tick and the squiggle just to add in, just to really show you what, you what you can do, just to sort of bring it to life. Maybe that looks like a little bit of graffiti on the wall. Not sure why I'd want to put graffiti on the wall, but there we go. Uh, but the, that's stickers, you can add those in to draw attention to different things. Uh, it might be that I want to draw attention to the flag. I might talk about the flag in my video. I can put that just up there. Just rearranging those stickers on the page. And this time also what I want to do is rather than have the annotation in text, I'm going to tap on the live titles this time. And what live titles does is it, it adds the text as you speak to the onto your recording. So it, it instantly captions that video, which is great for students being able to share their thoughts and that being able to be accessed by anybody. Okay, so if somebody um, isn't able to uh, hear the, the video, hear the voice the recording that you've added to it, you still get to read along and, and you don't have to program any of this in. It just uh, picks it up via Siri, um, the built-in voice recording. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to tap record and just record a little bit of a voiceover for this and you'll see how that works. So this is Caldicott Castle. Caldicott Castle is close to Chepstow Castle in Monmouthshire and it has a fantastic flagpole which flies the great Welsh flag. And there we go. Okay so you can build up this project, you can pan around the image, it's going to add your voiceover to everything that you talk through. If I just play that back. So this is so Caldicott Castle. Caldicott Castle, 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 Castle is close to Chepstow, Chepstow Castle in Monmouthshire. In Monmouthshire. And, it Monmouthshire. and it has a fantastic flagpole, flagpole, flagpole which flies the which great, flies Welsh, the great flag. Welsh flag. So there we go. It's not cutting edge uh, work. I probably wouldn't give myself anything higher than a E grade for this, uh, but you get the idea, okay? It's just about adding in that content. So let's take a look at some of the other options. We've looked at how we can add in our camera, you know, that, that video of me, that could be a video of anything. It could be students exploring their own work, etc. We've looked at how we can add in pictures or video from the library, anything we've collected. Let's just add a little of extra touch to our work now. We, let's put a poster in here. Now, like I said, there are, there are loads of different posters in here that you can choose from, um, you know, depending on the mood of your, your video, really depends on what you want to create. Um, I'm going to actually go for something Thing. I quite like this one, did you know? And I can change the text on this, so I'm going to change this to castles in Wales and just add that over the top. Uh, I'm going to turn off the live titles on this because I want to keep it so that you can see what, what happens on the actual screen. And then I'm going to tap record, but I'm going to record my voice over again this time. Welcome to my video all about the castles in Wales. And there we go. So now I've got those four clips along the bottom that I can uh, watch back at any time. I can further edit them. You see across the top that I can go into live titles and, and edit those things. I've got more options of effects. I can drop any of these effects in at any point um, and they will just instantly add directly to my video. But the problem that I've got at the moment is my poster, my intro, is actually the last thing I've recorded. So very easily if I tap and hold I can drag that to the start, and I'm gonna actually take my selfie and move that to the end. So now I've started to build this video with some different effects. It's very easy to kind of play around with and lots of things that you can do. Now let's imagine in this clip of Chepstow Castle, I've realized that oh, maybe it would be nice to add something halfway through. Rather than having to re-record it, if I tap on, oops, if I tap, tap on the split, what I can do here is I can choose that this point, 
I actually want to add in another annotation. So I split the clip, it makes it a second clip on my screen. And in the second one, I can go to effects and I can say that I want to you know, choose a nice star. I think it's the best one. So it's going to be a nice star on the clip. So now as I play that back, it just seamlessly so adds in that clip to, uh, so that star into the middle of that clip and looks seamless, okay, to the viewer. So really, really simple and easy thing to do. Okay, so we've got kind of the makings of a bit of a project here and obviously you can carry on, build, build and build. Let's say that I finished this. I'm gonna simply just add in some music now just to give it that final touch. So I tap on the sound at the top, tap on soundtracks and there are dozens of royalty free soundtracks that you can use here, which means if you want to share these on social media, you can. There's royalty free, it's not gonna, uh, you know, come back to haunt you or anything. I'm gonna play through some of these. Mm, quite like that one, but but maybe I want something that's a little bit more playful. So let's uh, let's go down to this one here. Yes, it's just going to quickly load that. There we go. It's a little bit more energising. I like that. I can tap back, and I can just Welcome play that through. Video, the video, the castles, in castles in Wales. So this is so Caldicott Castle. Caldicott Castle. Caldicott Castle. Caldicott Castle. So there we go, simple as that. And, and you'll see that it gives you that really professional kind of look to what you've created. Tap done, and now that's complete. Now the thing to notice about the soundtracks that you add in clips is that they are intelligent soundtracks. There is no editing needed to fade it in, to fade it out. I don't have to adjust the length of that music, which makes it really, really simple for young learners or anybody who's new to video to just dive straight in and create something that looks really, really good. The final thing to do then is to just tap on the share icon and save that video where you'll be able to use it on projects, share it on social media, or do whatever you want to do with that video. So there we go, a very, very quick overview of how to use clips.